in a city known for its lakes. This floating plastic sphere, no bigger than a baseball, led to a surprising discovery for researchers about what's in the water. We found uh, RSV, we found influenza, we found SARS. That includes SARS-CoV-2, the virus responsible for the COVID-19 pandemic. Their findings after testing several Halifax area lakes now published in scientific reports. The results so novel, the study's authors can't answer yet what it means for anyone wanting to take a dip in a lake. Although the WHO has said COVID-19 doesn't transmit through water. Right now, I couldn't really say like this is safe or not safe because we don't have a lot of benchmarks. Is this uh, normal or abnormal? We don't, we don't really know. There isn't really any literature like this out there. That's exciting though, you know, we, we can hopefully use this to try to understand more. For Hayes, these are the key to that understanding. Each ball holds a small bag of activated carbon, which soaks up water and the viruses in it, which is later extracted and measured. She came up with the design two years ago after brainstorming ways to measure COVID-19 in wastewater. The sewers can be quite aggressive sometimes with the flow, so I wanted something that could easily bounce around and, and not be easily damaged, so the, the ball served to, to do that well. And then it allows um, us to easily deploy our adsorbent material without you know, fouling the, the membrane. We would deploy um, samplers at various locations weekly um, and kind of bring them back to the lab and then I would analyze them. The researchers hope this small ball will make a big impact when it comes to testing fresh water, not just here, but around the world. This tool, far easier to use than traditional testing methods, which can require collecting up to 1,500 litres of water at a time. And so several are making their way to other scientists searching for pathogens in bodies of water south of the border and in Africa. Water is so important to, in so many parts of our lives. An innovation they hope will someday mean safer, cleaner water for all. Heidi Petrachek, Global News, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia.